Siobhan Finn, Program Manager for Cork Innovates. Welcome to Irish Startup TV. Thanks Richard, it's good to be here. Thank you so much for hosting us today in Cork and for introducing us to such an incredible range of entrepreneurs and startups from beauty care products to heavy marine tech and engineering to biotech and to business outsourcing and business process outsourcing. I'm glad you've enjoyed it, Richard. We have a great selection, as you've now experienced, um, of startups in Cork across so many different sectors and across so many different stages, I suppose, of the entrepreneurial journey, from the very early startup to the very established entrepreneur, as you've just met. Tell us a little bit about perhaps your role with Cork Innovate. Okay. So for the last three and a half years I've been working as project director for Cork Innovates which is quite a unique project, um, the only one of its kind in Ireland, focusing very much on working with the stakeholders in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. So just to give you a flavour of that, very typically um, UCC, CIT, Cork Chamber, our local authorities, Cork City and County Council, Cork BIC and our four local enterprise offices and the focus is very much about engaging with each of those organisations, promoting collaboration, extending the kind of engagement that they would have had previously um, in terms of collaborative um, activities and really very much increasing the, I suppose the, the awareness level around Cork City and County as a region to start and grow your business. So I guess a sample of what you say, saw today is very indicative of the kind of, of businesses that you know are setting themselves up in Cork right across so many different industries and with so many different success stories to, to tell. It's so easy to get stuck in a silo and one of the things I'm realising driving around the country is that we've got some incredible cities and I'd certainly like to see them talking and collaborating even further. It sounds like Cork Innovates is very much ensuring that the communication happens Absolutely. in Cork. Yeah, so what we've been doing, as I say, for the last three and a half years is working with all the key stakeholders within the region. And then, as you're aware, in the last 12 to 15 months, Startup Ireland has come on the scene. Um, so Startup Ireland, at a national level then, has so taken... So this is the connecting so the this cities. Is the connecting the cities piece. So Startup Ireland and the team in Dublin have taken the model that we've developed here in Cork, oh, right. and that's being rolled out across the other cities. So Dublin, Waterford, um, Limerick and Galway are also looking at very similar models to what we have here. And it's on that basis then that we roll out the Startup Gathering um, series of events over the first week of October. So there's been a real buzz. Uh, this is my third time to Cork this year, my second time in the context of discussing the gathering and I really feel that the momentum and the energy is building. What can people expect during the first week? Is it's the first week in October and during that week we're going to see close to between 200 and probably 250 events happen right throughout Ireland across that week with the focus being on the five cities I've mentioned, Dublin, Waterford, Cork, Limerick and Galway. All kinds of events from hackathons, startup weekends, uh, designer dojos, coder dojos, speed networking events. We have a mechathon happening here in Cork. Um, and then on a, a particular date on each city, and in Cork it's the 7th of October, we have a Vision 2020 forum and we have um, an awards dinner happening that night. Who can get involved? Do they have to be a techie or a startup? Absolutely not. Um, the startup world is for everybody um, in the world of entrepreneurship. So it's very much about, you know, be it from the techie to somebody working with artisan foods, as I mentioned earlier, beauty products, um, software development, hardware development, gaming, um, the agri sector. We have a dedicated conference which will look at smart agri. So right across all industries. Um, and from individuals who are very much at the pre-startup stage to those who are established and looking to scale their business. And we're actively inviting engagement from right across the community. So even multinationals or corporates who are interested in potentially hosting tours of their own facilities, helping the community understand you know, where that business got started, what it's all about, what the focus is on entrepreneurship and idea generation within the company environment. The list is endless. Cork is open for business, so get Absolutely. involved, no excuse not to. Siobhan, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you and thank you for your time today.